Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to make money as a new level 80 crafter in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now, before we begin, I'd like to discuss with you retainers. Now, I'm at Limsa Lominsa, but this can be done in any of the three starting cities. So, Limsa Lominsa, Olda, and Gridania. So I'm at the Retainer Vocate, and these are located near the market boards. So as you can see here at Limsa Lamensa, I went due west from the Aetherite main crystal. I passed the market board and right before the summoning bell at East Hawker's Valley is where you can find the Retainer Vocate for this city. Then you're going to hire a Retainer. Now you can have up to two for free. After that, you would have to pay real money on your subscription to add them. So I have two right here because I only have the free ones. And as you can see here, you can sell up to 20 items per retainer. So you can sell up to 40 total between the two. And if you have more retainers, each one of them will have 20 more. Now, when you open up your retainer, as you can see here, you have put up for sale as well as have retainer sell items. You do not want to use have retainer sell item because that will be like selling to an NPC as you can see here. In case you accidentally do that, you can go back and buy back as long as you don't fully exit the retainer screen. So the option that you want is put up for sale as you can see here. And in the top right, there's a little button that allows you to compare prices. So as you can see here, at the top right of that, you can see the history. So this item in particular sells for 500 and normally when I sell items, I like to undercut by one gill. So one out of 500 is 499. Now this specific item, you don't want to sell at 500 uh, because you can already sell this item to an NPC for 500. So please keep that in mind. So we're gonna, we can adjust the price as we go. So now we're going to exit that and we're going to bring it back to 500. Now, please keep in mind that there will be a 5% tax whenever you sell an item. So you definitely want to sell above what would, it would cost to vendor straight to the NPC. So as you can see here, I, I actually don't want to sell this item. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and return it back to my inventory. All right. So remember, you want to use put up for sale when you put something on the market. So now that we got retainers out of the way, now let's discuss crafting and making money. So I'm going to head to the market board, as you can see here. I'm going to open up my crafting log. Now I'm going to do a search for Patrician's Wedge Cap. And I know this sells because if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that this is part of a quest line for weaver so as you can see here they sell at least three a day and you want to have high quality because high quality is the only version that they use for the quest in fact as a crafter at a as a high level crafter you always want to be selling high quality if it's possible to craft so now we're going to look at the material cost so i have my crafting log on the right and as you can see here undyed felt so undyed felt at normal ingredients cost 3,500. Then we're gonna look at wool and yarn, so 700. Now we're only gonna be looking for normal quality materials because we can automatically high quality. We do not need high quality materials to craft. So 105, as you can see there, and for linen yarn, and then for electrum ingot. Oh wow, 100. Okay, normally it wouldn't cost 100, it should cost around 1,000, but hey, you know, if they want to sell it for 100, I'll definitely buy it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that now. All right, so, with all that in mind, now we have to take our material cost into account for when we're looking at how we're going to make money. So, let's open up Patrician's wedge cap again on the market board to see how much it actually costs to sell. So we would be selling it for around uh, 25,000. But as you can see here, the material cost costed under 8,000. So that's quite a large amount of profit. 
and we know it's gonna sell. They sell three per day, so it's very frequent. And we're gonna make all three items needed for the quest because when someone buys one, they always buy all three. All right, so here I'm gonna show you my gear and my stats are really low and I wanted to show this because you only need enough CP to use your abilities for the trick that I'm gonna be showing you. So as you can see here, my body armors are level one. I still have my accessories and I wanted to get my CP to above 350. Now the skill that we're gonna be using is called Trained Eye and that skill alone uses 250. So you do want a high amount of CP, but all the other stats don't really matter too much. Now this works for all crafts uh, level 70 and under. Okay, so it will not work on level 80 crafts, but it will work on this. So as you can see here, we're gonna press one button, it's called Train Die, and it's gonna automatically fill up the quality to 100%, as you can see there. So now all we have to do is work on progress, so we're gonna use Veneration, and then we're gonna use Groundwork. And that should get us max, but in case it didn't, it will get it really close. So as you can see there, we capped it out. That's a level 50 craft, so it's level 70 or under, so it's perfect. So now we're gonna do a Patrician's Coty, because that's also part of the quest. Once again, train die, veneration, groundwork. High quality, boom, real easy. Then Patrician Bottoms, that's the third part of the quest. So train die, veneration, groundwork. All right, so we've crafted those three high quality items, as you can see there. So now we're gonna put it onto the summoning bill retainer. There you go. Uh, sell items, all right. Put up for sale, very important. Okay, so these bottoms go for 49, 944. And we wanna undercut by one gill, very important, only one. You don't wanna undercut too much because you're gonna be eating into your profit. One's enough. So I'm gonna put it up for 49, 943. Confirm. There we go. Now we're gonna put up the cap. Okay, and this goes for 25, so we're gonna do it for 24, 999. All right, there we go. Double check, all right, it's good, confirm. Once again, undercutting by only one gill. One's enough. You just wanna be on the top of the list. So here we go, 34, 984, because that's one less than the next poster, so there, as you can see there, undercut by one, confirm, all right. So, because we undercut by one gill, we will be at the top of the list when someone searches it. Now, please keep in mind that you might have to recheck your market board retainers every couple hours because other people post things up and undercut by uh, one or you know whatever. So you wanna always try to keep yourself at the top of the list. So now we're gonna make Holy Rainbow Apron because I know that's part of the Lev Quest. And once again, that's in my videos, my previous videos. So you can go and reference those videos and see what crafts are good and profitable. So Raimi Half Gloves of Healing, those are also in the video. Now please keep in mind that I'm only crafting one of each. You do not wanna overcraft any item because then you're gonna be competing against yourself. So just go ahead and make one at a time as they sell, you can remake one and post it up, but don't make too many all in one go. All right, so now we're gonna make a Surge Gambeson of Healing. As you can see here, the craft is level 67. I'm not gonna change my gear. I'm still using level one body and glove and all that stuff. So as you can see here, Trained Eye, and then Veneration, Groundwork, and there we go. Easy peasy, all right. Um, so now we're gonna do a twin silk apron because once again in my videos I used that in our Lev quest so I know that these will sell. People will buy these if they don't want to craft it themselves and they can so that they can level up fast. So you can take advantage of that by crafting these and selling it to them. So as you can see here we barely didn't make it so you can finish off with a careful synthesis. You still have a lot of durability left so you're still fine. All right, so as you can see there, I made a bunch of stuff really quickly. 
the material cost is way cheaper than what it costs or what it's going to cost the buyer to pay for. So we're going to make quite a lot of profit off each one of these items. Now there's a lot of stuff that you want to be doing. You want to fill up your retainer. So you want to have at least 40 items for sale at any given time. Okay. Now I only showed you a few right here. So if you want, you can just go back and open up my old videos and write down the things that I craft in the videos, but try to make sure that the items that you're doing are above level 45. So like these patrician wedge caps were used in the level 45 job quest. Okay, because everything lower than that are really easy to make. Any crafter can make them. So as you can see here, we're gonna be posting these Rami half gloves, but there's no competition right now. Even though the last one sold for 21,000 or so, because there's none up for sale, right? No items found, as you can see here. I'm gonna put it for 50K and hope that it sells. And then if it doesn't, and then someone else undercuts me later, I can always go back and change it. So Twin Silk Apron, as you can see here, is going for 108 at the moment. So, you know, once again, I'm gonna undercut by one. I don't wanna to undercut too much. I just wanna do it by one. And as you can see, when there's no competition, the price of the items will go up. And as, of course, as there's more competition, uh, the price will go down. So the prices that you're seeing right now, that I'm crafting right now at this given second, could differ from when you're watching the video or when you're crafting. Prices are very fluid, they get updated all the time. So you wanna be just as fluid as they are. So don't just craft something, put it on the retainer and never check back on it. Every hour or so, every two hours, when you have free time, check your retainer. Check the prices of these items, see if, they're, if you're the lowest price. You can update it at any time, there's no penalty to update. Okay, so now I'm gonna fully equip the gear that I used to use in my last video for Weaver, right? It's not level 80 gear, it's still only level 77. And we're gonna manually craft something that's skill level above level 70. So we're gonna make Dwarven Cotton Potessos of Healing, I believe was in the video. I think so, Dwarven Cotton Potessos of healing. I think that's right. Okay, so you're gonna notice here that the price is not very good. I tend to not like making crafts between levels 71 and 79. As you can see here, yeah, so profit margin 27,000, 27.5 thousand, 27 that's that not much. Especially since the material costs for these items are probably in the 14,000 range, maybe less. But yeah, the the margins aren't very good. And that's because for some reason, a lot of people like to craft it. Anyway, so we're gonna, as you can see here, trained eye does not work. It is a craft above level 70, so we're gonna have to manually craft. So we're gonna start off with reflect. Now make sure you do not have collectible synthesis activated because if it is, you cannot sell the item. So we're gonna activate it right now and we're gonna turn it off later. So now we're gonna use veneration, then innovation. And we're gonna use delicate synthesis. We'll get, that's gonna bring up both progress and quality. We're gonna do this four times, so we're gonna get our inner quiet two seven stacks. So as you can see here, okay, we're gonna turn off collectible synthesis. It does not mess up our craft. As you can see here, we're still going. And then we're gonna use our fourth delicate synthesis now. So here we go. Inner quiet at seven stacks. Make sure before we finish the craft, double make sure collectible synthesis is not activated. All right, so we know it's not, so we're gonna use Master's Men to bring our durability back up some. Then we're gonna use Innovation and then Great Strides and finish off our quality with Fire God's Blessing. As you can see there, that's maxed out. And then we can go ahead and do Veneration and finish off our craft with Groundwork or Careful Synthesis, whatever you want. Now please keep in mind, this is not a level 80 craft. For level 80 crafts, you want to use a much more perfected rotation. This is just a quick rotation to get things done from level 79 to 71. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this up on the market. As you can see here, it doesn't really sell very well, but we're going to throw it up anyway. Yeah, for some reason, there's just a lot of competition in that level 71 to 79 bracket. 
All right, so then we want to fill our retainer up. We always want to have 40 items up for sale. And remember, it, it doesn't cost you anything to update your prices, so check back often. And only undercut by one gill. It doesn't need to be more. One's fine. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.